in this video i'm going to teach you how the mind and the universe work and how you can work around the mind and the universe and use these as tools to help you stop fear What's up? Welcome to Cosmic Curiosity. Today I have a very important topic, the most important topic I think I'll ever cover. I'm about to debunk 100% that fear is 100% pointless across the entire history of humanity, the present of humanity, and the future of humanity. Fear is 100% an illusion. What does that actually mean? Let me explain to you. Let me first get this across really quick. You are a magnet. You are a magnet. So whatever thoughts and emotions that you feel are going to be drawn into your reality. You are a magnet. So you to control your thoughts and your emotions. So if you're thinking fearful thoughts, that is what you're using your magnet for. You are magnetizing negative things into your reality. Your subconscious mind takes everything literally, so if you're thinking negative things, you are magnetizing directly negative things into your reality. You are a magnet, so why would you want to hold a magnet up against something negative. Let's take a close look up at what fear actually is. Fear is just focus upon a reality that we don't want. First, let me say that you create your entire reality 100%. You create your entire reality because reality is a lucid dream. Everything is consciousness. Everything is produced by your consciousness. And you have the rule over fear because fear is just creating a reality that you don't want. Your thoughts and your emotions create the entire physical world around you. So if your thoughts and emotions are filled with fear, you're going to be creating a fearful reality. Why would you want to create something out of fear? Why would this fear serves zero purpose? Fear serves zero purpose. And I am about to show you why. Let's take a close look up at what fear actually is. Fear is just focus upon a reality that you don't want. Because whatever you focus on, that is what's going to come into your reality. Because thoughts create reality. By focusing on a negative outcome, you draw forth that outcome with the law of attraction. Because the law of attraction gives you exactly what you think about. By the way, the end of this video has some really awesome perspective, so stay tuned and watch the entire thing. Maybe you're afraid of losing your job. <clears throat> Maybe you're afraid of not having enough money. Typically, most, fear, uh, most fears arise from the lack of something. Let us remember that the universe is actually abundant. It, it, the multiverse is abundant. It has everything we need. Every XYZ frame of existence exists next to each other. Every frequency exists above and below each other, just like a radio station. Every frequency exists. It's up to you to tune into them.
The universe has everything we need. If you can imagine it, you can align with the frequency of that reality. All realities exist side by side in the multiverse. The universe is abundant with realities where you get the job, where you get the girl, and you get the money. The first step is to recognize that fear is like a red alarm going off saying, take your power back. You are an infinite creator. You can create anything. We must start by focusing on what we want, not by what we don't want. When we are in fear, we are focusing our energy and where energy goes, attention flows, or where attention flows, energy goes, you know the quote. When, when we are in fear, we are focusing on what we don't want. We are putting all of our thoughts and emotions and, oh my God, I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen. I'm so scared of this going to happen. When we bring our attention to what we want, even if we don't see it yet in the 3D world around us, this means that it's on its way to us. Because even a second... Even holding a single thought for a second brings that reality towards us. The eighth dimensional aliens taught me this. Uh, the Octurians. The Octurians showed me this. They showed me that if you hold a thought for even a second, it begins manifesting. This is the law. The second we think about something, we send out the signal. It's kind of like switching on a radio or, or switching on a TV with a TV remote. If you click channel 50, channel 50 is going to play, even if it's just for a second, right? The only reason that you might not see channel 50 in your reality immediately is because we live in the third dimension, which is a very dense reality. So things manifest very slowly. Frequency is the rate at which we experience reality. When you're in a higher frequency, your reality comes back to you faster. You can think of happy things and your reality will form happy things faster. But since we're in a very low frequency, things manifest very slowly. Because frequency is how frequent reality comes back to you. It's that simple. We're in a low frequency, so we have to wait for our manifestations to show up. The higher your frequency, the faster shit manifests. I shouldn't say shit manifests because I'm, that means like shitty things are going to manifest. I'm so technical about that. <laughs> anyway. So when we feel fear, we are sending out a frequency of victimization. We are victim to our reality when really we are meant to be the creator. We can start by eliminating fear when we begin looking at the opposite of what we fear and then asking, what is blocking this? For example, if we fear being alone or not getting a girlfriend, we need to ask ourselves, what, what is not allowing me to vibrate on a reality with a girlfriend? Maybe deep down, you don't believe girls would find you attractive. This belief is vibrating on a frequency where you believe no girls would come into your reality. You must look at all your beliefs around that which you want to manifest and ask your opposing beliefs what and ask your opposing beliefs what could be blocking that which i want maybe you want an abundance of money and you want to sell a product but you fear your product might not be a big hit this very thought repels customers as it sets the frequency of lack so you can think about selling your product all you want but it's your innermost beliefs that are going to manifest so if you believe that there's something wrong with your product, or if you don't have confidence in yourself, those are the most dominant frequencies of reality that you're going to be tuning into. So let's, let's backtrack. Fear just means I am attracting something into my life I don't want when I could be focusing on abundance. This could be fear of anything. You see, the universe doesn't care if it's money, girls, a job promotion, or even a new car. The universe sees it all as equal. The universe sees it all as just energy. It's just a frequency. It's just a thought in your mind. And just as you can equally think of all these thoughts, 
the universe can give you all these things equally. It's all just energy. Money, a new car, just the same energy, but in a different form. In a different XYZ coordinate, geometrical form. This, this pen is the same thing as this paper. It's just consciousness. It's just in a different form. It's in a physical form. I love geometry. <laughs> I love forms. I love consciousness. I love everything. <laughs>is the most important thing. This means that all fears are the same color. All fears are the same. They're just a thought. They're just energy. The universe doesn't care if you're scared of bears or financial stress. If you fear it, your reality will give you more of what you focus on. And we as humans are so accustomed to living in fear because that's what the media teaches us from a young age. They teach us that the world is a really unsafe place. When in reality, the complete opposite is true. But they tried to hide this from you. The opposite is true because there are infinite realities where you are safe. There, and once you know how to navigate through these, you can protect yourself from anything. The media likes to keep you in a box. They like to tell you about the murders down the street. Well, guess what? The timeline down the street has zero murders. So are you going to timeline shift or are you going to freak out about what you see on the news? Remember, reality is a lucid dream. Every last bit of it is produced by your mind. I have personally seen my reality become a nightmare when I hold the frequency of fear for too long. I have feared people hurting me only to find sketchy looking men pass by me moments later. I have found good fortune come to me when I am in a state of constant bliss. The speed of how fast these things come into your reality depends on your frequency. So once you raise your frequency, things in your reality will come to you more frequent. <laughs> Abraham Hicks used to say you can identify fear or any negative emotion by, fe by the feeling it gives you. She often said fear is just like feeling pinched off from source, from your true nature. Anything you don't desire is simply you using the law of attraction incorrectly. When your desired reality is out there, it's waiting for you to match its frequency. And just like a dream, you can create a nightmare or a paradise. I've personally created both. If you were having a nightmare at nighttime and you saw a, mon a monster in your dreams, would you fight the monster, run and hide from it, or laugh at it like Harry Potter from the Bogart scene? Until something else manifested in its place, because you knew you were in control of the dream the whole time. Now, if you haven't seen Harry Potter, there's a monster, and he takes the form of your deepest, darkest fear. So let's say it formed like into a demon or something. If you're having a dream, and you see this monster, you see this Bogart, and it turns into a demon... You're going to say, wait a minute, I'm the dreamer. I'm sleeping at night. I'm just going to think about something else. And the monster will turn into something else. And that's how you can change your reality. This This is alchemy. This is how you t transmute uh, negative lower frequencies into higher vibrations, into a new reality. This is how you change lead to gold. This is how you change a lead, a shitty reality, into gold. And I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. I'm not saying that you're going to become Jesus. You're not going to become Sananda, an ascended master. You're not going to become a, a Buddha, ascended master overnight. You're not going to literally change things from lead to gold overnight. I mean, if you can, that's great. But it's okay if you can't. I mean, I am 100% aware of the law of attraction, and I still have fear, and I think that's part of being human. And I'm having a hard time accepting that, because I have all these law of attraction techniques. I have all this uh, manifesting knowledge, this physics knowledge. I have all this knowledge, yet I still find myself scared sometimes. And I'm learning to just tell myself, that's okay, breathe, you're just focusing 
on a reality that you don't want. And I think that's because I was raised in a society where fear is just so normal that even that even with this knowledge, it's hard to navigate because our minds are so accustomed to reacting this way. We're so accustomed to reacting to fear that even when we know it's an illusion, if we see something scary or, or we're, we're going to get scared, like, I don't know how, I don't know how to put this into perfect words, but in the subconscious mind of the average human being, even with this knowledge, is still going to find themselves scared sometimes. But that's okay. You just got to remember the facts. Remembering the facts. Remember the elite facts. Just remember that you are a magnet. You are a magnet. Your outer physical reality is only a production of your mind. You can change the physical world around you at any point in time. You are a magnet. If you're thinking negative thoughts, you're magnetizing bad negative things to come into your reality. Every last drop of fear is going to manifest. Every last drop of hope is going to manifest. Every single thought in your mind is going to manifest. So why would you waste even a single second thinking about things that you don't want. Well, I hope this made your life a bit easier and now you understand how to navigate through the illusion of fear. Thank you for watching Cosmic Curiosity. Uh, please subscribe if you found this video helpful. Please, please donate. Every single penny counts. I'm a broke college student. And as always, stay sexy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>